It was the evening of October 1st, 1969, when I first smuggled several hundred pages of top secret documents out of my safe at the Rand Corporation. The study contained 47 volumes, 7,000 pages. My plan was to Xerox the study and reveal the secret history of the Vietnam War to the American people. The FBI was trying to find out who gave the New York Times a copy of the Pentagon's secret study. Pow, like a, like a thunderclap, you get the New York Times publishing the Pentagon Papers, and the country is panicking. This is an attack on the whole integrity of government. If whole file cabinets can be stolen and then made available to the press, you can't have orderly government anymore. A name has now come out as the possible source of the Times Pentagon documents. It is that of Daniel Ellsberg, the top policy analyst for the Defense and State Department. I think it is time in this country to quit making national heroes out of those who steal secrets and publish them in the newspaper. In the first year of marriage, we're talking about him going to prison for the rest of his life. Now, girls, forgive me for that. about the possibility of going to prison for this. We have a quick back. Wouldn't you go to prison to tell oh, such a story? We felt so strongly that we were dealing with a national security crisis. Henry Kissinger said that Dr. Daniel Ellsberg was the most dangerous man in America, and he had to be stopped. 